pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please make yourself comfortable in your seat and begin to relax. Take in a deep breath and let the breath fall away. Now, in a moment you're going to hear the sound of singing crystal bowls. This is a deeply relaxing sound. Just imagine the sound washing over you from your crown to your toes. Feel the sound begin to relax your body. Relax the muscles of your eyes. Part your teeth and allow your jaw to relax. As the sound of the singing bowls flows over you, feeling like warm sun on a lovely day. Feel your shoulders relax and let the sound wash down your arms to your fingertips and down your spine, relaxing the muscles of your back. Just let yourself go. As the sound washes all the way down over your legs to the tips of your toes, feel your body experiencing waves and waves of soothing, relaxing sound, healing and renewing you deeply into the cells of your body as you become more and more relaxed. Just let yourself float on the sound, lighter and lighter and lighter still. Be light and free and deeply relaxed. Now in a moment, take a deep breath, and as you breathe out, have a gentle stretch. You're feeling confident and energized, strong and relaxed, and ready to enjoy a wonderful day. Time now for my final thought. Today we've been celebrating the 50th anniversary of Earth Day in the middle of our new normal. Throughout the day, activists and celebrities have engaged the world in spirited discussions, held online performances, and there were even lessons too. Since the shutdown, we've seen nature thrive in ways that few of us can remember. Endangered sea turtles in Florida are thriving according to researchers and the Sea Turtle Conservancy. Our verified team even talked with experts and learned about the 30% drop in the pollutant nitrogen dioxide in the atmosphere. And more animals are starting to explore areas usually packed with humans. Here's a group of goats taking over a town in Wales. Some call it an upside to the downside, but I think it's a peek at a better, more compassionate way of living. If the coronavirus outbreak has taught us anything, is that life is precious. So why not do what you can to help ensure the safety and well-being of our neighbors and the environment? Once the shutdown is over, you will have a choice. You can either live a life more compassionately or not. But I hope you choose to be more compassionate that way of living. So what does it mean? That means driving less, walking more, creating less waste, saving water and electricity. Most of us are doing it now and it's creating a healthier environment for us all.